So today I'm coming to you with a review on the Too Faced Stardust Palette by Vegas Nay. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to give you some general details about it and then give you my review. And I'm going to title this series like, Is It Worth It? And I couldn't think of anything any more clever than that, but we'll go with that. Alright, so this palette retails for $45. It is exclusive to Ulta. It is online and in store, so that's good. And I guess they're just going to have them until they sell out. Excuse me. Now, if you don't know who Vegas Nay is, Vegas Nay is, I found her on Instagram. I followed her. Maybe within the last year or so. Her Instagram is very, very inspirational. She features, I mean, you rarely see her on the Instagram because she features so many makeup artists and so much work, so many other work, so many, so many other MUAs in their work. Um, she is a makeup enthusiast. I don't know if she's an MUA or what, but she's a makeup enthusiast and she has like, I know millions of followers. So anyway, she collaborated with Too Faced to bring you this Stardust palette. It retails for $45. This is what the packaging looks like. And it comes in a box like this. And then, within the box, you get a little booklet. And, I'm going to open it up. You get a little booklet, and you open this up. The packaging is awesome. And you, like that. And then this is Naomi, that's her real name, Vegas Nay. And then these are looks and different tips and tricks. And then two little trays pull out of that. And on one side you have the palette, the actual palette itself. And then you have, you get a deluxe sample of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. You get a Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti-Creasing Eye Primer. And then you get the Glamorous Dust Nude Beam. So this is like a glitter eyeshadow or top coat if you will to place on top of the shadows and work into your looks. So that's what you get and you also get some look ooh, some look cards. Now you know when you see palettes and you and there's a booklet inside and it's usually like a drawing of an eye or like steps with numbers. These are Instagram square pictures and you get six of them with six different beautiful beautiful looks. I love all of them. And on the back you get a pictorial with a real eye. You get a pictorial and the steps of how you create the look. So that's all you get in the package for $45. So I'm going to show you what the palette looks like. You get 12 shadows and you get 1.3 grams of product in each shadow which I think is really really good. Um, a standard like the Urban Decay Vice theirs are like um, 0.83 grams of shadow in each pan. So you definitely get more product in each pan than a standard like palette you would usually get. So these are the 12 shades. The top row you have Chandelier, Millennial, and Girls Night. The from here to here. Um, the second row you have Hashtag Selfie, Showgirl, and Jackpot. The third row you have Pink Pearl, The Strip, and Follow Me. And then you have the bottom row, Double Tap, Golden Nugget, and Sin City. So I'm going to insert some swatches of them on my arm right here. So as you can see, this palette has a beautiful color scheme, and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell you the pros that I feel and the cons, and I'll just give you an overall consensus of if it, is it worth it or not. Out of 10, I'm going to give this palette an 8, and now I'm going to break it down for you. <clears throat> so the pros are this palette comes as like a complete eye look. I would say minus eyeliner you're good to go. So you get the actual palette, you get 12 shadows in here, you get the mascara, which I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's one of my favorite, favorite mascaras. You also get the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, I'm an Urban Decay Primer Potion girl myself. Not a fan of this one, but people rave about this, and overall, the overall consensus, it is a really good primer. Eye primer. And you get a genu generous amount, you know, with eye primers, and good eye primers, especially, a little goes a long way, so you get a good amount. Okay, and then you have the top coat, the glitter, glitter dust, and I love this because one, who doesn't love glitter, and two, if you top any of those shadows, you have the potential to turn these 12 shadows into 24 different shades or different looks. You know what I'm saying? Because you're changing 
you're putting this over top making any sense so that's good this theoretically could change your 12 shades into 24 shades depending on how you mix them and work them out and next to the palette my actual favorite thing about this palette is the look cards usually like I said before you get some type of um, animated or some drawn like a face chart type of type of pictorial and you have the numbers this is actual pictures and I love the little Instagram squares and it's actually yeah step by step on a real eye and I just I've done I've done let's see this is Instastar, and I've actually worn this twice. This look here, I absolutely love it. And this one is one that I've worn as well. This is called a ha hashtag MOTD, or Makeup of the Day. And actually, I followed it today. The one I'm wearing today... Am I missing one? I think I'm missing one. I'm missing a card, Lorinda. <laughs> Where did she put it? I don't know. I can't find the one I'm wearing today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy, that sucks. Oh, wait, here it is. Oh, found it. The one I'm wearing today. This is Stardust. And that's what it looks like. And I literally followed the steps. And that's the one I'm wearing today. I did have to add a shadow in, and I'll explain that in a minute. But this is the look that I'm wearing on my eyes today. So, yeah. Anyway, I love these cards. They're so informative. You can complete the look if you literally follow it step by step. And it's not like generic steps. It really explains. All these have 8 to 10 steps. Well, that one has 7. But it's a lot of steps. It's not just like a 1, 2, 3, 4. Put 4 here. Put No, it breaks it down. I like that. So this is actually give, give, gave me an idea. I have a little photo printer, and I'm thinking about like looks that I like, whether it be whole face or eye. Take a picture, and then on the back, write what I did. So if I want to revisit that and do a tutorial, I know what I did. Like this is an excellent idea, idea. And if she came out with or Too Faced came out with a book of just cards of eye looks, I would definitely purchase it. And this is definitely a good addition to the palette. This is the first time I've ever even used the little guide that comes with the palette. Okay, and then the next thing, the shadows themselves. This palette, Too Faced makes really good good shadows. I like the chocolate bars, the Pretty Rebel. Um, this palette really screams Girls' Night Out to me. And I don't know if that's what it's advertised to be. But with, there's a shade called Girls' Night. But it just, if you're a neutral person... You have neutral palettes. Yes, there's neutral shades in here. Top row is matte, and you have your transition, your creasy shades. But then you have here, and these are fairly similar to the ones above, but they have that sparkle. And these, the sparkle shades in this palette aren't packed with glitter. They're just sparkly, and I appreciate that. And the next shade, you have your purples here, your... Your, yeah, I gotta say purple shade. The strip is a beautiful shade. It gives a little bit of iridescent love there. And then the bottom, you can make, with these two, you can make anything smoky. This black is awesome. And then the gold, you can't have a good girl's night out without a gold eyeshadow. Great. This really, really screams girl's night out to me. I don't know why, but it's like, when you're getting ready to go, I, I just see it. Like, these shades, the sparkly, the new, like, even all these looks are bomb for a night out on the town. It could be a date, but I'm just, they're all beautiful and dramatic like I love. And I, I love that. So, those are the pros. It's awesome. Also, the packaging, very slim for travel. Like, this bad boy is very, 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 very tiny. And I like that. And it's thin and it's compact. It's about as thin as a Lorac Pro palette. And it's really compact, so it can slide in wherever you're storing your palettes. It can slide wherever, lay flat in a drawer, and um, it can go, like, for travel. I, this is a really, really safe, nice palette for travel. I love cardboard packaging. And, yeah. So, I'm going to go on to the cons really quickly. The first being the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I tried it a few times, and my eye, it didn't work for me. My eyeshadows actually faded and creased a little bit. I have... I've been wearing eyeshadow primers for as long as I've been wearing collecting makeup and knowing to put it on, maybe like five years. And I've never had that happen like that since I really started wearing good eye primer. Maybe like the first couple months I was trying eye primers, but 
after that, like, yeah, I wear Urban Decay Primer Potion most of the time. I have an LA Girl Prime. Even the e.l.f. Primer doesn't crease on me. And this one made my eyeshadows. And I tried it without the Too Faced shadows with other shadows. And it made them fade. Like, hmm. But I did hear that this was a really good eye primer. So this is just, just my opinion. And I'm not going to knock it completely. Because a lot of people swear by this. And I'm okay with that. Okay, so the next thing that is a con for me is, I said, this palette is travel friendly. It is. And it seems like they they package this where you can get a complete eye look with the products they gave you. With the primer, with the mascara. Only thing you probably would add is an eyeliner. So with the primer and the mascara and the topper, you can make a complete eye look. And it's like all these things can throw in your, your makeup bag and you can travel with them. But the only downside to that is it doesn't have a mirror. Now I appreciate it's Stardust here. There's Stardust on this box. There's Stardust on the outside box. There's, um... Vegas nail on the back. Like, I feel like you could have eliminated one of these stardusts and put this mirror here so it would be a travel-friendly palette. Because if you have all the materials to do your eye look, it won't, it's not going to do you any good if you can't look in a mirror. So that's, that's one thing that I think is a downside by this. I just feel as though this is, doesn't advertise as that, but this screams travel friendly as compact and as convenient as the travel sample sizes are. I would have just appreciated that. I'm not one to look at a palette while I'm sitting at my vanity, but if I'm traveling, definitely. So that is it. And then the next thing is the pigmentation on two of these shadows are just not up to par with me. Um, like I said, in this look, um, this reddish burgundy, the look called for this shade Double Tap to go in the crease. And I did put it there, but it just wasn't giving me any pigment. And... So I place um, American Rose by Coastal Scents there, but everything else is this palette. Now these two shades, this is girl, um, this is Double Tap, and this is Millennial. They show up, but this is Double Tap. It's like it it doesn't transfer well, and it kind of just goes away and looks muddy, and it just doesn't sit right with me. And this one does this not as bad though. It's like they almost disappear when you blend them out. They don't just, like, diffuse and they're still there. Like, once they're on my skin and I'm using a breath, they just disappear. You know what I'm saying? That makes any sense. And I don't know if that's just me. Um, if you have lighter skin than I do, it probably will show up. But Double Tap and Millennial tend to just disappear on my skin. Like, I don't see them. They just blend away. Not together with another shadow, but they just completely disappear and blend away and I don't see them. So, that is a downside for me. But all the other shades are super pigmented. They work. They're beautiful. Um, and I still use Double Tap. Like, I smudge it under my lower lash line, but I have to put a lot on. So, yeah. Um, but that is pretty much it. Like I said, I'll give it an 8. Overall, do I recommend it? Yes. I enjoy this palette. I've been enjoy enjoying all the looks that I came up with. I almost never... I don't think I've ever done a look where I've done black on the inside and outside and then something else in the middle. I don't know. I just don't do that. And to have those cards to give that inspiration, like, that is the bomb. I really wish they come out with, like, a book of cards. I would definitely invest in it. So, like I said, I give it an 8 out of 10. I do recommend it. It is a beautiful palette. It's a great addition to your collection. Like, I feel as though you can get an amazing New Year's Eve look out of these colors. Holiday look. Christmas party coming up. I do. The Stardust name is beautiful. Vegas Nate did a great job and Too Faced did a great job. So let's go to the demo of this look today. Um, this is called Stardust and basically I started with some Urban Decay Primer Potion and I applied Selfie onto my brow bone. Hashtag Selfie. I um, blended Double Tap on the lids and along the crease and then like I said before I added Coastal Scents American Rose into the crease with it and then I put on my eyeliner. I used a Rimmel Scandalize. Then I press Sin City, which is an amazing matte black, into onto my inner and outer lid and smudged it on my lower lash line. I'm reading the steps just like they gave them to me. Then I press Golden Nugget onto the center of my lid. And I didn't do the center of my lower lash line, but I blended the um, Golden Nugget edges with Sin City. I applied Hashtag Selfie into the inner corner of my eye. It's not my favorite inner corner shade. It's a beautiful shade. Not my favorite for the inner corner, though, but I did it anyway. And then I used um, my mascara, and I applied my lashes. My lashes are the Foxy, Coco Lashes and Foxy. So that is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. I love you all. Until next time.
Bye.